Hello, Internet! Praise God, and welcome to a brand new episode of DuckTales Remastered! So, at this point, we only have two levels left to go to. We can go to the Moon or the Amazon. Now, to be honest, these are probably comparable in terms of difficulty. The Moon might be slightly tougher. I'm going to finish with the Moon, because I feel like that's just the perfect one to finish on, so we're going to the Amazon today. Get Launchpad on the horn! I'm headed to the Amazon jungle to find the scepter of the Incan king. I repeat, do not start with this one. <laughs> I can't stress that enough. We've got five hearts now, so it shouldn't be as bad, but it's still very tough. Thanks for the lift, Launch Bud. No problemo. Lift is one of my favorite principles of aerodynamics. Oh, say, you got your radio, Mr. McD? Hey, of course I do. Great, then I'll be your eyes in the sky. Oh, I'd be happy if you just keep your eyes on the sky for once. Snap. What an airhead. Hey, I heard that. Now then, ancient Incan legends claim the King's Scepter was locked away in a giant temple of the clouds, and it should be dead ahead. Gee, Mr. McGee, I see a lot of clouds, but no temple. You wouldn't, launch bad. The legend says the temple was hidden away from all but King Manco Capquac himself. But there's bound to be a way to reveal it buried somewhere in this overgrown salad bowl, and I'm not leaving till I find it. Well, let's get going. So first off, Amazon Jungle. This is my favorite track in the entire game, by far. So good. Didn't we get to be number one by back and doom? Ooh, sweet. So there are these gorillas in your path. They're pretty easy. They're big targets. And I just love the adventures in this game, like finding the Incan Temple. It's really cool. <laughs> Launchpad, I found an ancient coin depicting a nightingale. even going to dignify that question with a response. So that's the main thing we need to collect on this level, those giant coins bearing the signals of different uh, creatures. So they're scattered all around, and yeah, the flowers are back from the African mines, and they have giant hitboxes still, so avoid them. So the enemies on this stage really aren't all that bad, but the level itself is quite difficult. Yeah. yeah, the flowers, it's extremely easy to hit them, but that's not even the hardest part of the level. Alright, there we go. There are spikes everywhere on this level, so that's going to be tough to navigate. Also, we can climb up through the ceiling here. Another giant coin! Nice! Another coin! And this one has an inscription of an eagle. Waka waka, it's a treasure! <laughs> waka waka, it's treasure indeed. This music is so catchy and so well orchestrated. This is one of those songs where it's like, the original NES version of this song I'm actually not a huge fan of, but the remastered one is unbelievably good. Always see if you can climb up vines to hidden rooms. There are quite a few of those. Aha! A coin bearing the image of the Queen's horse. Ha! It'll help us find the treasure for sure. How can you tell, boss? Never doubt the well-honed instincts of an experienced treasure hunter. If you say so, Mr. McD. Oh yeah. I feel like plot-wise this makes sense for it to come after the Himalayas as well, because Launchpad's more experienced as a pilot in this one. Oh yeah, it is. Oh. 
The gorillas respawn so much. And we could have fired that giant rock at the... Uh, whatchamacallit? At the treasure chest as well. A coin showing the sun. Gads, I nearly tripped over it. This place is a mess. Where's Mrs. Beakley when you need her? I know. Alright, so if we go up, we will reach the place where we need to place all the coins. There's also a lower path. And this is where the stage is incredibly deadly. So first off, we're getting this one. Look at this. An ancient coin with the image of a scythe. It must represent a good harvest. And not the Grim Reapers. This is Launchpad, calling Mr. McD. What is it, Launchpad? I'm running on a little low on fuel up here. Well, where are the extra fuel canisters? Oh, you'd best find those fuel canisters, for the next thing you'll be flying is a model airplane. Okay, okay. This time I ask you for help. Is that a promise? <laughs> Snap. Of course, Launchpad's still the lovable goof we know and, uh, well, love. <laughs> this is where it gets annoying. We've got spikes on the floor and spikes on the ceiling, so we need to be extremely precise and careful with our jumps. Especially if these spiders on the ceiling. Oh, yeah, nice. We get a one up there. Okay, if this looks easy, it is like a hundred times harder than it looks to time these pogos perfectly with the spikes on the ceiling. If there are no spikes on the ceiling, you can just hold Y for a good time. Yeah! <laughs> Found another one! And it depicts the ruly might of a spear. This is Launchpad, what was that? Uh, uh, nothing, boss. I'm sure nobody was using that tree anyway. <laughs> uh, except maybe them. And them. <laughs> and, and also them. <laughs> hey, Scrooge is just like, well, that happens sometimes. He doesn't even care. I thought we had enough of the spiders in the Himalaya stage. Nope. Not even close. Darn it, I bet there was a treasure hidden where I hit that can. Look at this one. It shows a shield. You know, I bet those Incans could have minted a whole lot more coins if they hadn't tried to make each one unique. <laughs> that's probably true, Scrooge. Alright, that's it for the bottom passageway. That's where this hole's kind of badly designed, because you have to backtrack for one of the passageways again after going through the other one. And I mean, the Himalayas had that a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. And to be fair, this one isn't too bad either, because once you get everything, it's a pretty quick trip back. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I want that ruby. I want that ruby. Let go of me! Thank you. Scrooge is rubbing off on me. He's, like, getting devoured alive. He's like, let me go. Not so I can live, just so I can get that ruby. <laughs> All right, we're climbing up this time. It's mine! Oh, I love that image of Scrooge falling. Alright, which coin is this? Aha! This coin bears an image of the scales of justice. Just what I need to help me find the scepter. Hello, Mr. McDee. I had a thought. Launchpad, why start now and spoil a perfect record? <laughs> That's a good question. Well, I don't have all day. What was your thought? Launchpad, <sighs> were you dropped on your head much as a child? All the time. Why? Snap. Scrooge, you're being pretty rude. 
Launchpad may not be the brightest, but he's a very good guy. Here we go. Come in, Launchpad. I found something. There's a carving of Monko Kapquak on this stone slam, and there's eight circular notches around it. Sounds great. Does it tell us how to find the treasure? Well, I'm not sure what it tells us, but I'm certain it's an important clue. Bless me, bagpipes. These coins I found will fit perfectly into those notches. Oh, you must have come across an ancient Incan poker table, Mr. McDee. How about I come down there and you deal me in for a hand? You come down here and I'll deal you a blow to the head. You're supposed to be keeping an eye out for trouble, remember? <laughs> All right. Trouble spotting it is. I thought he crashed the plane into a tree. Launch pad. What if the images on these coins symbolize the various tribes of Manco Capquack's empire? Maybe if I surround him with them. Ugh, oh, no. It's not working. Hey, maybe you need to say the magic words. Or maybe not. <laughs> it just takes some time. You know those ancient machines. Will you look at that? The ancient city of Manco Capquack. And that beam of light. It must be pointing to the Temple of the Clouds. But how am I going to get across? Up here, Mr. McDee. Oh, nice launch pad. Perfectly timed. This music is so amazing, I can't believe how good it is. And if, yeah, if we move on these platforms, we can find gems. Also enemies, so we need to watch out. I knew there would be something valuable there. I thought there was going to be something valuable there as well. Yeah, Launchpad's a really good pilot, though. He follows us, like, perfectly and doesn't drop us. I thought we were making more money on this stage. Guess not. Gotta watch out for the bees, of course. Hmm, ice cream in the Incan jungle. I'm sorry, the Amazon jungle. The Incan, uh, city. Launch pad to the temple. Whoa! I did it! I found a legendary temple of Manco Capquack. With a little help from your old pal, Launch Pad McQuack. Oh, <laughs> oh, of course, Launch Pad. I couldn't have done it without you. Now just hold on, and with a little luck, that scepter will be mine in no time. That was nice of him to thank Launch Pad. It's about time Launch Pad got a break. <laughs> Snap. Look at that treasure. Alright, nothing the other way. Had to check. Yeah, your money bin's pretty full now, Scrooge. Oh boy. <laughs> this is the Temple of Doom, apparently. Those Incan guys are a bit problematic, but not too bad. Oh darn it. Here we go. Mrs. Bigley, now where did you come from? Why, from home, of course. I had to be sure you were all right in this filthy place. You walk your weight in gold, Mrs. Bigley. Uh, if you'll pardon the expression. Huh. Of course. But I'll find my own way out, thank you very much. Alright. Yeah, normal mode, she normally gives you an ice cream, a cake, and then a 1-up. 
But here we get two ice cream since cake is not a thing. What are the Incan guards still doing here? Actually, they're pretty good. Four! I don't want to hit that guy instead of the spider. Aw, oh, there's no treasure up there. That was a disappointingly low amount of treasure. I didn't know you could destroy those pillars, actually. Let me go back and destroy the others. I think there's only one other. Oh wait, I can't actually. The rolling boulder. Dane Scrooge, you are an adventuring pro. Like, he's totally unfazed by all these, like, angry guardsmen trying to uh, kill him. Whoa, another one up! I have, like, never had six lives before in this game. This is amazing. In a lot of ways, this level's incredibly basic, but in another ways, like, it's really hard, like the underground tunnel. Like, I feel like this was supposed to be the first level, but this is a really hard first level if that's the case, because that underground passage will kill you so much. I don't think so. Ow, that was dumb. This area is very dangerous. Darn it. Can't get that chest now. Oh ho! Look at that metal. That's where the health extension normally would be. But instead we get a million bucks. So, I'm, I'm cool with that. Almost missed that. I have one health, and we're basically on the boss. This is not good. The boss is pretty tough. Okay, I've got a little more health now. There it is, the King's Scepter. Well, <laughs> oh, this was easier to find than a penny in a parking lot. No, it wasn't. Catch me, kilts. What was that? This is the boss, the head of Mango Capquak. And he's tough! <laughs> Partly because I was terrible at the beginning. When he makes the ground pound, you actually can't pull on the ground for a bit, which is a bit irritating. He also has the potential to instantly kill you, as we're going to see pretty soon. Yep. You can very easily get crushed by these and just lose your life. And it's what he does is totally random. And of course he can do the giant shockwaves much like the Yeti could. The bosses were pretty much all completely changed from the NES version. 
Like the NES version, they don't really have invincibility frames. Nor do they have like special attacks like this. It's pretty much they they run around, jump on their heads. Still not down though. Like Magicka, this guy has 12 HP. Oh, I thought that instantly killed you. Guess not. Thank goodness for that, because when he does that, it's incredibly unfair. Whoa. Ouch. Knock it off. There we go. Thank goodness. Way to go, Scrooge. We destroyed the whole temple. Hurry, Mr. McD. This place has fallen to pieces. No, I'm not leaving without that scepter. Get us out of here, Launchpad. Yeah, that's what I thought, Scrooge. I can't believe we came all this way for nothing. What's the meaning of this? Outsider, our prophecies have long foretold that our ancient city would one day be returned to us. For hundreds of years we have waited, and at last that day has come. You mean you're not mad at me? Mad? Quite the contrary, feathered one. Is there anything we can do to repay you? Well, now that you mention it, uh, I did come here looking for an ancient scepter. I didn't suppose... Does it look like this? It fell from the temple. Oh, they're climbing for nothing, eh, Mr. McD? <laughs> Bless me, bagpipes, the scepter of the Incan King! It is yours. Take it and go in peace. Oh, well, that was nice of them. Thank you. After all, it was just the old king's back scratcher. <laughs> And that's the Amazon done. That is so tough. Like, just as tough as I remember. Imagine doing that with only three hearts. Very difficult. And only two lives as well. Let's see how we did! The Amazon! We got 21 small gems, we got 34 diamonds, and 24 rubies. And we got the Scepter of Bank and came as another million. Plus the hidden treasure, the, the, the uh, Olympic medal, that's another million. And we played on hard mode, so that's another half million at least. <laughs> oh, look at those millions we have! 16 million, that's amazing. The scepter of the Incan King. I tell you boys, there's something special about this treasure. Really, Uncle Scrooge? Yeah, it just looks like an old back scratcher to us. <laughs> You boys need to learn some respect for the finer things in life. Now, if you're done having fun at your old uncle's expense, help me decide where we should go next. What do you mean, Scrooge? There's only one place we can go, anyways. Alright, couple things I want to show off before I end the episode. First off, we're going swimming in our money again, because we got a lot more now. And look, all the treasures we've collected are here as well. We've got the giant diamond of the inner earth, we got the ancient coin from Transylvania, the crown from the Himalayas. Oh, hey, we got the hidden treasures too. There's the rain, there's the metal, and there's the scepter. That's really cool. That's really cool. Ah, I, I, I always love swimming in my own money. And the other thing is if we press A here, this does not take us back to the main menu. This rather brings us to our gallery. And I believe, yeah, watching this and editing, I realized that it said excluding your gallery purchases, everything will be reset. So I still have all the gallery purchases I made in my first playthrough. So if we go to music here, we actually have a collection of different, uh, like, we can view the different music in the game. We've got, you know, we've got background paintings. Uh, we've got pencil renders, which is interesting, like little artist sketches of the different parts of the game. TV show art, which is art for the actual DuckTales TV show. That's pretty cool. And I still haven't unlocked the TV show art, too. 
Nor have I purchased everything from all of these stuff. That's what you do with the money you get in the game. I just wanted to point that out. Anyhow, that's going to do it for this episode of DuckTales Remastered. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Color Farty. We only have one place to go left. The moon is sure to be awesome on cosmic proportions. Have a great day, and God bless.